What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you some text effects in Photoshop 2022. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So uh, basically I have been using a loads of different text effects in my designs and it's really helping me improve my backgrounds and everything. And a load of people have been asking me, how do you make these text effects? So I wanted to make a tutorial on it for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching the recent videos and all the support on the uh, Discord and the Patreon. You know, check it out. Link is down below if you are interested in any of that type of thing. But without further ado, let's get straight into the effects. So guys, basically what I'm going to say here first is make sure that you improve your font library. So as you can see, if uh, I just actually get some text up right now, which is something I should have done before, um, you are going to want to improve your text. Now that says hello. Obviously it's in a funny text, but this is something really cool. This is called a calligraphy font. Now these are like brush fonts and then you have your basic fonts. You have, you know, your thin fonts, scribbly fonts. There's all sorts of different things you can get. Uh, block fonts all these type, different types of fonts you want to try and improve that now if you are interested in my font pack I do have it on my patreon you know as I said before the link is down below check that out it's on the 10 pound membership because there are over a hundred and I think 30 fonts in there so I think that's only fair um, and there's a tutorial in there as well how to use it um, but if you are interested in that obviously check out the patreon but for now I'm gonna use one of my fonts today which is gonna be Montserrat now this is something I use a lot this is one of my main fonts and you know it's one it's a good one block fonts are always good especially in sort of sports design and esports design type of thing uh, a lot of people like these fonts they're clean and slick so what you're gonna do get your font you know get your text whatever it's gonna say and you're gonna select your text tool on the left here and then you're gonna go up to the middle along here along the bar where this T is on a curve so you click that and now you get your warp text effects so what are these you ask now if we click style we have all these different styles now all of these are gonna do pretty much what they say they do with a little icon on the side they're gonna manipulate your text so at first I'm gonna show you the arc one now the arc one is pretty pretty self-explanatory it you know puts the text in an arc now once the text is in an arc you're gonna to want to sort of play around with it so depending on what you've said you know what you've wrote you can sort of play around with this depending on how you want it to look you know you can bend it either way so that's just to begin with let's just bend it like that and then you're going to use this horizontal distortion so this one sort of makes it thinner on either side and makes it like go big on the one side now this is a really fun technique to use obviously to rip through your designs and all that type of different thing but um you know you want to learn how to do this and then the vertical distortion obviously spins it sideways uh makes it go really cool like that so that's really cool i could i could actually use that in one of my designs uh but you want to just sort of play around with these and sort of be find a, a effect you're happy with now this could this could be a really nice asset for a background now i, I use something recently like this on one of my hallen designs so like if i just go and open that one up right now uh i use this as you can see the Halland going through the middle of the design i used it on that so it can be used for backgrounds guys i just want to sort of make that clear so i'm just going to undo that i'm going to sort of make my text a little bit smaller so it doesn't go off the screen and i'm going to go back to my text effects so we've got arc down now we obviously had to play around with that let's just sort of play around with that again that looks really cool and it would look really good as a background so these are different t effects you can use obviously you can go vertical as well this one's a little bit more uh interesting should we say uh, you can sort of manipulate a little bit more depending on the arc and all that type of thing so again something like that's a really cool effect to the, which you can use so basically you want to sort of play around with these yourself and actually have a go at you know practicing with them so that is the arc one so I'm going to go off that one now so let's go down to arc lower so again you know let's just put these back to zero um, zero okay so arc lower so this one again is sort of does what it says uh, but I'm going to set it to horizontal. Make sure everything is set to horizontal to begin with because that gives you the best effects. So if we go to arc lower, you can sort of see that it makes it sort of like a fat U at the bottom. Uh, and again, we can play around with these. Same sort of thing they do side to side, make them bigger. And then same with this one, sort of like that one. But that's a really cool background as well. So it looks sort of 60s-esque, sort of like, you know, hippie style thing. But it can make a really nice background and also you can distort these to actually uh, interline with the player so as I if I click OK here 
and go back to this one, I've got it also blended over his top and everything, which is looking really clean and cool. So you not only can you use this as a background asset, you can also use it as something to break up the images that you're using. Um, so we've got that one. Again, I'm just going to quickly run through this upper one. It's the same sort of scenario, you know, it makes it go higher. Uh, you can obviously make some sort of cool effect like that, which looks quite nice. Uh, and again, you can flip it upside down, up like that. There you go. So that's the arc upper. So now we've done the first three. So they're really simple, basic ones, you know, very easy to use. Um, and obviously you've got the picture there to help you understand. Now the arch one is kind of similar. So if I just go and set all these to zero, um, this one's similar, but instead of going like arced upwards, it sort of bends it upwards, if that makes any sense. So it bends them upwards um, and sort of just makes it look a little bit different. Again, side to side, very simple. And then these ones, again, you can make some really nice manipulation. So I'm just not going to do too much on that one because, you know, it's pretty similar to the first three. So let's just go to bulge. Now bulge, again, this one, it just makes it like a balloon in the middle, I guess you could say. Uh, it makes it just go really fat in the middle, again, side to side. Uh, and then this one, obviously, you can make a really nice, like, something for your player to, you know, if you've got a player image running, you can have him running across this or, you know, stepping on the name or whatever his name is. But this is how people do that in designs because I know a lot of people have seen that, uh, you know, people like running on text. This is how they do it. Um, it's very simple. And there are other ways as well, but, you know, this is one of the main ways. So that's uh, art. That, uh, no, that's bulge. Sorry. Um, so let's just set these back to zero so that I can show you the next one. So shall lower. This one's a funny one. This one sort of, it keeps everything at the, along the top of the text sort of lined up and then it just takes the bottom and sort of, uh, you know, bends it like a shell, like the, like that. So as you can see here, that looks really cool to begin with. So we've got something really nice there. Uh, you know, you can sort of see that coming across the design, can't you? Well, at least I can. But, you know, it's kept the top intact, sort of in line pretty much. And then you can obviously use your distortion to sort of manipulate a little bit. But the vertical distortion has made it so it's a nice little, you know, shell coming out the bottom. Again, go to shell upper, same sort of scenario, you know, like so. Let's just, you know, play around with that. Up, over, that's quite cool as well. It's, you know, you could have him like running over the text, you know, has it going over the hill. So you can sort of layer mask his foot out and make it look like he's coming over the hill, which will look really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, you just got to have these ideas, but there is so much stuff you can do with these warp text tools. So I'm going to go on to the flag one now. So let's just go up here and click flag. So something like this, um, you know, that doesn't really do much, does it? So let's go to the bend. So this one bends it like a flag to obviously a waving flag in the air. It's going to look something like this. So you can play around with this a little bit more. Uh, you can obviously manipulate it sideways, all that good stuff. So I know you might think this is a little bit repetitive, but trust me, you've got to play around with these if you want to use them in your backgrounds because they do really help. So that's the flag one. Wave, again, that's sort of similar. This one just sort of makes it look like a wave, you know, in the sea, uh, like that. Obviously, play around with these. Now, the, this, the wave one reminds me of, like, you know, those child adverts where they have, like, I don't know, summer toys and stuff, like this is the type of text that he use on them so you might want to not want to use this one but it could come in handy depending on what type of design you're doing if you're doing like a water manipulation it might look really cool in the background or something like that so going on to fish now as you can see this one's sort of pretty self-explanatory you know the image is there on the right on the left of the fish sorry um and it makes it look you know big on the one end small on the other now you can play around with this again make it look really cool like even that, that just looks like a really cool asset and it's just saying hello so stuff like this you just need to play around with and actually have a go uh, but you can make something like that which looks really cool as a background asset um, or you could do something you know a little bit more normal so let's just set these to zero and make sure that looks like a fish so there you go that's just how it would look normally uh, but that's a really nice sort of effect for you to learn. So moving on to the next text layer that is going to be, I just clicked off it, didn't I? That is going to be inflate. So inflate, this one is more of like sort of just bulging out the text. So I don't really, again, I don't really use this one too much, but you know, you could, you could find some use for it in one of your designs, you know, make some sort of nice abstract sort of 
you know, manipulation shape or something like that. But, you know, as you can see, I've made something pretty quick there and it's really not taking me too much time. So that is something you could also use in some of your manipulations, guys. Again, moving on to squeeze. Now let's just set this one back to zero just so I can sort of show you how it goes. Now this one just sort of squeezes all the text in. Obviously stretch outwards, squeeze inwards. Vertical distortion again, either side. Uh, and then this one sort of bend it up or down. So this one you could use, you could get a really nice cool effect here uh, if you just sort of play around with it. But again, all of these can be, you know, you could even, let's just click okay here. So let's just command J and duplicate that. You could have two of these you know, like that, and then expand them. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. Let's just expand those. Oh, I want to select both of them, please. There we go. And then you, uh, there you go. You've got something, you know, some cool starting to a background, like just like that. It's really simple. So, uh, yeah, don't, just because I'm saying, you know, the same thing doesn't mean, you know, you have to do this. Uh, just have a play. Uh, so that's that one. That was squeeze. And then twist is the last one. Now this one, you can obviously make an, another cool background with this. So let's just have a play with this one real quick. So twist the type, obviously make it bigger on the one side, maybe bend it either way, distort either way. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm just gonna click okay with that one. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this one nice and big like that. And then we're gonna duplicate it. And then let's go like that and flip him upside down. Oh my God, my computer is having a, an absolute nightmare with this text because it's massive. Uh, and then to get a selection tool and do something like that. So again, I know I could duplicate this again and make it fill up the whole design, but again, so I could just move that one up a little bit. That's a really cool background. You know, these are things that you need to sort of think about when you're designing because there's so much stuff you can add to your designs just by doing these simple text effects and obviously picking the right font helps as well. Um, but yeah, guys, those are all the text effects for today. Um, I'm just gonna just undo that. I don't really want to sort of drag on about it, but you know, there's, there's what, four, eight, 12, 16, so about 15. Um, there's about 15 things in there that you can sort of play around with and actually use out for yourself. You know, I thought this is a really straightforward tutorial, something simple for you guys to learn from and add to your designs. You know, I use it a lot, as you've seen with the Halland design. So, uh, you know, just like this. So that should be enough for you guys to see that it's, it's usable in design. So uh, basically guys, that is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Obviously smash the like button if you have, it helps out people find the YouTube videos.